Preparation is very important when uh, dressing and getting ready to, to practice. Uh, we refer to that as saho. Saho is the preparation of your dogi, your karate gi, your weapons. And how you wear the monski is very important. It's uh, dependent upon the style you train in, the, uh, whether you're doing kenjutsu or aikido. In this case, we're doing uh, batodo or batojutsu. In batojutsu, we always fold the monski right side over first and then left side over the right. If we're wearing a karate dogi or a karate uniform and you're going to tie an obi, you always want to make sure that as you've tied the obi, you always spin, spin it around to the back so the knot is in the back. Next, we'll tie a kaku obi. Kaku obi is a flat, straight obi meant for kimono, and uh, we use that uh, traditionally in iaido or iaijutsu. We take one end of the kaku obi and we fold it so that it is in half, and we place that, part, that portion against the front of our, our abdomen like this, and then we circle around the first, the body one time, and then we bring the tab of that kaku obi over and down. We circle one more time, and we entrap that first part with this second loop. And we leave a small loop on top of the obi. We circle one more time, and we'll have a bit of section left over that may be a bit too long. We want to fold that under to make it shorter. Then we fold it in half. We bring that section up through the loop that was originally created. And then down through the outside loop that went around the body, which will leave two ends at the bottom. We pull and snug down on those two ends, which should bring the knot rather flat. Then we turn the entire obi toward the right so that we don't open up the monski around and to the back so that it lays flat. And with the hakama on, we can still reach in the sides and tighten the obi at any time. Now that you've learned how to tie an obi, we're going to uh, teach you how to uh, wear the hakama. The hakama is a pleated uh, trouser worn by the samurai. It is also very important that you wear hakama when you, uh, when you perform bato jutsu or ii jutsu. Normally, hakama will come folded like in a butterfly knot. All you need to do is take the two ends of the butterfly knot, open them up. The hakama will open up thusly. We hold the front of the hakama, and we allow the back to drop, to drop down. The back has this stiff board on it with a little piece of plastic you may find on the back, hera. We hold the front of the hakama and place it above the obi, just at the top of the obi. We step through with the left foot first, then we step foot with the right foot. We place the top of the obi under the front of the hakama, bringing both ends, these long strings, hemo, around the back, and we cross, we cross them over the knot that was formed in the obi, and then back around to the front. Once again, we make another cross in the front, left over right. So we have an X below the navel. And then once again, we come to the back and tie a knot below the knot on the obi. Then we lift the back of the, the hakama, and we find the small tab. And we place that in and above the obi. We raise the koishita, the board on the back, and bring the last two hemo, last two strings, around the front. And we cross them, once again, right one first, then left. Left one comes under, over and under the entire X 
formed by the first group of hemo or strings. A simple overhand knot. Then once again, right over left and up through. You'll notice we have a bit of hemo of string left over. We take the left one and we start to fold it to approximately three inches. And with the very last part where the knot is on the, in the center of the body, we place that string there. Then the remaining half we bring down so that it's straight down and we start to wrap it around the center knot, coming around all of the hemo or all of the Hakama string. And finally, we leave a small part of that string on top, one on the bottom, and on the side. So we have a plus sign made with the Hakama Hemo. As in every other aspect of martial arts, uh, respect for your dogi, your equipment, is uh, primary. You have to make sure that the the hakama is properly folded so that it maintains its pleats. Uh, so we're going to teach you today how to do that. And uh, it takes a little bit of time in the beginning to get used to it. But as you perform it over and over daily, uh, it becomes second nature. You lay the hakama out on the floor so that everything is straight. First, we need to straighten the pleats on the inside. And you'll have done that prior to laying it out on the floor. And we straighten all the pleats. There are five pleats, you'll notice and line the top of the front of the hakama up with the koshita, the backboard. Then we start by folding in the outside of the hakama toward the inside pleats. And we fold that until, if you notice, till it's even with where the top string meets the hakama itself. We do the same on the top side. We bring it forward until we have a straight line from the bottom of the hakama up to the top. Now we should have a nice, long rectangle. We take the bottom, pinching all the pleats together, and we fold it up in one section. Then we fold it once again, and a third time. Now we turn so that the koshita is facing away from us. We have one longer hemo, as you know, and one shorter. We take the longer hemo first, open it, and we fold it in half, bringing the end all the way to the body of the hakama. Then we fold it in half once again. Then we bring it from the upper left side to the lower right side. Then we repeat the procedure with the longer hemo on the right. Fold it in once in half, and then once again in half. Folding it from the upper right-hand corner to the lower left-hand corner, creating an X in the body of the hakama. Then we moved to the shorter hemo on the upper left-hand side. We bring it across to the center X, and then down through and around the entire X we've created. Then we take the same extended end and wrap it around the original leg that we have created and back through to the center. We fold that leg in half and then bring it toward the upper, or actually lower, right-hand corner as it faces myself. We do the same with the right side, to the center, through the middle of the X underneath, to the middle, around the right leg,
And with the excess, we fold it in half and bring it through the small loop created with the first hemo that we wrapped, forming what we refer to as a butterfly knot.